name is Olya Sergeyeva. I am a co-creator of an online tool called TubeWizard. And in this tutorial, I will show you how to use TubeWizard to easily create interactive gap fill quizzes for your learners based on any subtitled YouTube video that you would like them to work with. So, I will start by showing you a sample quiz just to give you an idea of what kind of thing you could create using our service. Then I'll actually show you how to create the quizzes. And finally, I know that not everybody knows how to find subtitled YouTube videos. And so I will quickly demonstrate that too. Okay, so let's start. And this is the home page of our, our, uh, of our service, and so it's tubequizard.com. And we are in the quiz collection. So you can see that there are quite a few quizzes here already. Some target pronunciation of grammar in fast, authentic speech. Some target words that are difficult to catch in fast speech and some target vocabulary. Let's, let me show you one of these and let's, for example, see this one. So this quiz is a grammar for listeners quiz and it targets future simple. So here is the quiz. You will see that there is the YouTube video that is embedded into the page and the actual quiz, the actual gap fill exercise. So once the learners click on a line, they will hear just that line. Reality. If you escape with me tonight, our dreams will come true. Do you have a plan? If they want, they can click multiple times to hear the line several times. Reality. If you escape with me tonight, our dreams will come true. Do you have a Then they can type what they think they heard. Okay. And they press enter. And they see that the answer was correct or not correct. Let me show you what happens when the answer is not correct. You will become the greatest dancer and I will become the greatest in... and I will become the greatest okay so this is basically it this is what the quiz looks like and now let me show you how to actually create and edit your own quizzes so I'm going to open this quiz in the edit mode so you will notice that right now we're in the quiz collection but once I click on this button edit the quiz we will be in search in subtitles menu. So um, this is what editing a quiz looks like. So I have my YouTube URL in this field under the video tab. If the video is too long I could trim it. For example start I could start with 30 seconds and go on for five minutes. And another thing that I can do is actually choose which words I would like to be gapped out. So it's that easy. I just type the words or the expressions that I want to be gapped out and tick this box here, create the quiz, and uh, click search. And then I can copy the URL and send it to my learners. So, just to make sure that you type these expressions correctly, let's have a look a little bit in a little bit more detail at the syntax. So, you will see that the expressions that I typed are separated by a vertical line. And this is important. So, you 
need to separate them by a vertical line and not, for example, by a comma or a space. And because there, this is an alternative list, you also need to wrap it up in parentheses. So again, I highlighted in red what is important here, the vertical lines between the expressions and the parentheses. So once you do that, your quiz should work. So let's, for example, create a quiz based on the same video, but it will target uh, articles. So what we need to do is write a vertical line and vertical line the close the parentheses and run search. Here is my quiz. It starts with 30 seconds because that's the way I filmed my video. Ew, when's the last time you brushed your teeth? You will become Do you have a plan? A brilliant plan! Do you have a plan? Do you think it was stupid to come to Paris? Don't say that! Do you? Do you think it was stupid to come to Paris? Don't say that! that wasn't very clear. Okay. So how do I get that part? You get the part. What are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Here it says English. 
which means that it was created by a human. And the only subs that are not created by the human, uh, but by people, are the subs that say English automatic captions. So this uh, language field shows you straight away if the subtitles are good or not. So basically that's more or less um, that's it. So what you could do here is copy the URL, go back to the quizery and for example run the video master and filters. And here are some of the quizzes that we created. So what I normally do is I look through the transcript and try to analyze if there is a particular vocabulary area that would like my learners to concentrate on and then I just copy the r r write down the expressions that would like uh, them to focus on or I try to see if there is some, some kind of grammar that is used multiple times in, in this video that my students could listen to but most often I simply listen to the video and um, try to note down the expressions that are difficult to catch in, th in the speaker's accent and I write those expressions and create a gap field based on those so this is basically it if you have any questions about using TubeQuizard, please post them in the comments under this YouTube video. And if you have any other comments, also post them there. I would 